Maud Howe was born at the Perkins Institute for the Blind in Massachusetts, where her father worked, on November 9, 1854, one of six children. Her mother was Julia Ward Howe, a strong woman, a suffragette, a writer, and who wrote the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Maud married English artist John Eliot, and they traveled all over the world. John painting, Maud writing, 20 books in all. She started out actually as a journalist, um, was a, uh, wrote on uh, art reviews for the Boston Transcript for a short time. Of course, she came from a uh, wonderful literary heritage and grew up among lots of writers. Maud Howe Elliott made her home in Newport, living here on Rhode Island Avenue after her husband's death. Her house was called Lilliput. Maud's greatest contribution to the city by the sea was helping to create the Newport Art Association, serving as its secretary until she was 88 years old. She was the power, the spirit behind this whole organization. And uh, I mean, she is responsible. She led the drive to um, buy that building, to, uh, to uh, get people involved in uh, building this building, to uh, the idea being that we would then uh, have a secure, at that time, fire was a concern, space to uh, show borrowed works and develop a collection. Maud and two of her sisters wrote their mother's biography in two volumes and in 1917 were awarded the first Pulitzer Prize. 89-year-old Bruce Howe, no relation, remembers meeting Maud and what an imposing figure she was to a 10-year-old boy. And I was made by my parents would make me shake hands with her and I'd be polite and she would say a few words to me. And she was quite tall and dressed in mourning, pitch black. She had a sort of a pork pie hat and then heavy black clothes with a little white line around here. So that made her all the more scary. <laughs> Maud Howe Elliott lived for 93 and a half years, and until her death in 1948, she was frequently honored for her life. A life not to be forgotten. In Newport, Glenn Laxton, 12 News.